Hey, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. So today we're here checking out the most recent update for Panda Sama's realistic childbirth mod. Really quick, I just want to give a huge shout out to Panda Sama for giving me early access so that I could share what's inside this update with you guys. Keep in mind that public access for this update will be available on September 17th. As for the usual, I'm going to read through the mod notes, but feel free to skip through the video if you just want to get straight to the gameplay. The first new feature that we're going to be talking about is weaning. Sims who are lactating can now nurse their toddlers. This interaction can be found underneath toddler care. Toddlers can also initiate this interaction if their caregiver is lactating and will do so autonomously when they are hungry. They will nurse until the toddler is full or until your sim runs out of milk. There's a 10% chance either sim will get a moodlet. Once a toddler has been nursed at least once, you'll be able to start weaning them when you're ready. This interaction can also be found underneath toddler care. You can choose between quitting cold turkey or just gradually weaning them. Quitting cold turkey will make your sim stop nursing immediately, but it will also make your toddler angry. You may choose to try to explain weaning and give them an excuse or tell them the truth as to why they are not getting any more breast milk. Your toddler will either accept the explanation and happily move on, or they will continue to be angry for the next two days and forget about it eventually. Gradual weaning will allow your sim to wean your toddler gradually, meaning they will start to nurse them, but they will only do so for a couple minutes each time, and after two days, they will stop completely. The next feature that's been implemented, pregnancy checkups. The get ultrasound option is now replaced by get pregnancy checkups. There are now two more build by objects besides the ultrasound machine that can be used during pregnancy checkups. You may find them by searching pap smear, hospital bed, or panda sama. The pap smear bed is required for the get pap smear interaction and the hospital bed is required for the get blood work interaction, but you may use a regular exam bed. Your sim will get the pap smear result through the phone the next day. There's a chance that your sim might have HPV, but it does not require any treatment. And your sim will get blood work results on the phone only if something is wrong with their result. The blood test can detect pregnancy complications from HCR and will be able to detect WTDs from the RPO mod in a future update. There's also a 15% chance that your sim might have an RH negative pregnancy, in which case they can get a RHO gam injection. You can either go right after getting the phone call or call the obstetrician and get the injection at a later date. There are currently no penalties for not taking the injection. Simply just click on the doctor and select get the injection after you arrive at the hospital. Pitocin. Sims can now get Pitocin at the hospital to speed up their dilation. My new hospital bed is required for this interaction. Getting the Pitocin will make your sim become fully dilated and it can also be used to fix a stall of labor. However, there is a 2% chance that your sim might get a uterine rupture, in which case they will be forced to give birth through an emergency C-section. And for the final feature, Sims will now get a customizable birth certificate when giving birth using the childbirth mod. Right now in my Growing with the Grover series, my no, main sim no. Ayla is pregnant with her second baby and I cannot wait until we start diving into some of these features. The first thing that we need to do is we need to get Jalen here a checkup because she's in her second trimester and she's been going to the obstetrician pretty regularly, but she is due for her next appointment. So let me pause the game really quick. What we're going to do is we're going to dive into our phone and we're going to click the home map from there we're able to call the obstetrician and from here this is where you'll be able to schedule your pregnancy checkup also you can choose if you wanted to which birthing method you would like to go with I always like to choose this kind of at the tail end of the pregnancy just you know after I've kind of got a general idea of how the pregnancy is going but for today we're just gonna schedule our appointment pregnancy checkups experience exceptional care on your journey to parenthood with our pregnancy checkup services our comprehensive package includes essential pap smear ultrasound and blood tests all conducted by our expert medical team. With the state-of-the-art facilities and personalized care, trust us to support your path to a healthy and joyful pregnancy. Once you have your Sim Select Let's Go, you're given the ability to also invite your significant other to the checkup. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to leave him behind so that he can take care of the little one. Jalen has arrived at her appointment, and here we are at the Willow Creek Hospital. This hospital was created by Kayla, aka Little Simsy, and you can find it on her gallery at Little Simsy. I did do a couple little minor tweaks like I changed the floor try to make it a little more warm and inviting because it was very very like medicinal looking and then here is our little like birthing room obviously if this was realistic we wouldn't have windows seeing right in to all of the goodness but in case you are curious on how you can swap out your hospital with a custom one or just simply edit it so that you can get some of these brand new objects such as the comfort glide hospital bed and then the viral viva is this vital vital viva vital viva 
pop smear bed that are included in this update. So all you need to do is you just need to go to live mode, live mode, whatever you want to call it. Then you're going to open up your cheat window. You're going to type in testing cheats on. You're going to hit enter. And then from there, you're going to enter bb.enable free build. And basically what this will do is it will allow you to enter build mode so that you can place down these items so that you're able to actually have the functionality of getting a pap smear and uh, giving birth. I was surprised by the many ways that you can interact with this hospital bed. You're able to sleep on it, sit on it like Jalen is doing here, recline on the exam bed and even get inside it, which means underneath the freaking covers. Here you can call over one of the various medical staff or get your blood work done. The other table is the pap smear test table. And yeah, that's all you can do is just get your pap smear because why would you want to spend any more time on this table than you have to? While Jalen's patiently waiting for her doctor to come in so that they can perform the tests, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like to have your sim recline on the exam bed. Isn't that cool? So for storytelling purposes, or maybe if you want to nab like a screenshot or something, this is super sweet because she will not get up unless I instruct her to. She'll even like glance around the room from time to time, which also makes it feel super intuitive. I love that. The next thing that she can do is she can actually get underneath the covers. So we will select get into bed and she'll like pull back the covers and like start rubbing her belly. It's super cute. I did check this out just to make sure everything worked, but it is so sweet. I do wish there was an option from the bed to like get into your hospital gown. I think that would be super sweet because it's kind of weird that she's like just wearing her clothes. All right, so let's get her blood work done and we're going to get it done by Asamu. I think that's how you say his name. I have not actually checked out the whole blood work thing and the pap smear stuff. So this is going to be kind of like a first impression for me. So our doctor walks over and he whips out his little notepad where he is taking notes and assessing Jalen's current situation. He's feeling for the vein and whips out the needle and oh my god. 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 This is too realistic. Even blood was in the vial and he's wiping it down with a cotton swab. It would have been really cute if he gave her like a little band-aid but that is crazy realistic. All done. We will get your results back tomorrow. Please don't worry too much. If there are any issues or concerns in your results, I'll make sure to get in touch with you and discuss everything in detail but remember no news is good news i'm super okay with a male doctor you know drawing our blood or whatever but giving us a pap smear i don't know if i personally am super duper comfortable with that so i'm going to tell him to just go away so that we can get a new doctor to perform our pap smear so i am going to ask uh, tomoko or actually you know what kyra she looks very friendly let's ask kyra kumar to perform our pap smear not to get too tmi with you guys Guys, but pap smears in general are super uncomfortable but even more so when you're pregnant because everything everything is super duper sensitive and oh my god okay so Jalen is a nakey doodle and my reshade does not really help the situation I mean you can't see everything but dear sweet Jesus you can kind of get a gander and she's actually like oh she's got the binoculars that's not what they're called and then even the little cotton swabby thingamajigger I mean oh my god that is crazy and she puts it into the test tube. <gasps> You're kidding. You're freaking kidding. Look at this. This is crazy how authentic of an exam this is. And this is The Sims. Like, this is what I'm talking about when I'm telling you guys this is the most realistic birthing mod that you will ever experience. And the fact that Panda Sam has also added in, like, you know, reproductive health in here. I think that's amazing. You're all done. The initial assessment shows everything is normal and healthy, but we'll need to wait for the lab analysis to confirm. You'll get your results within 24 to 48 hours. If your results indicate any abnormalities, we'll discuss the next steps and potential follow-up tests. That was quick. That was a whole lot of anticipation for nothing. Jaylene went in, got it done, and carried on with her life. Hey Jaylene, it's the doctor's office. I have the results here. It turns out you have the common type of HPV. Let me assure you that this is very common and usually clears on its own. We're back at the hospital and Jaylene is in labor and her water has just jumped everywhere. Ooh, this is bringing back memories of when I gave birth like six freaking months ago and let me tell you I'm really 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 feeling what Jaylene is going through so we can have her come over to the hospital bed and she can do more things than she could earlier obviously she's having a baby so we can get into bed we can do some breathing exercises just to speed things along we can also have the doctor check our dilation we can ask for an epidural which I don't think I've actually ever had my sims do before the main thing that I wanted 
wanted to feature was the ability to start Pitocin. So I think I'm actually going to ask for that epidural and then I'm going to have Atomo come and administer the epidural. Quick change of plans so Akeem was in the way so Tomo couldn't administer the epidural and then when Akeem actually was able to administer the epidural, I believe it's failed. Uh oh, something doesn't feel right. Jaylene is only feeling numbness on half of her body and is still in pain. It's best to let the obstetrician know to see if there's anything that can be done about it. So I didn't know this, but epidurals can also fail. I mean, I know they can in real life. I had eight in a row before the last one stuck, but I didn't realize like it could in this mod. So we're going to ask Akeem to get off his cell phone and replace the epidural. And then that way you guys can actually see it. Hopefully he'll do it the way that he did it previously. I thought it was recording. And of course I wasn't. Oh my gosh, failed epidural. I'm so sorry to hear that. Let me try replacing it to see if it helps. I will be right over. So here he is administering the epidural. It's definitely, oh my God, a little bit different than this in real life. But I'm telling you, that just feels like just oh. I'm reliving it all over again. This is crazy. So I think that epidural also failed. So I'm going to have Akeem do it one more time. I mean, it could be possible that it's just his technique and we need another nurse to come in or doctor and administer it using their method. But this is nuts. I didn't think it would fail twice. Like I'm starting to really, really, really genuinely feel for Jaylene. Hopefully this time it actually works. This is crazy. It's just not working for her at all. And I don't know why. She She's also getting really hungry, which is weird because usually in labor, you're not like hungry. It's the last thing you're thinking of. But I'm going to see if we can check dilation. And I actually think she's going to get it checked. Oh, my God, you guys, this mod is just too real. And I love how Tomo is just observing everything and making sure it's all going according to plan. Uh, we are currently two centimeters dilated. We can try to speed things along by exercising on a birthing ball or taking a walk to induce labor. So I think this is where the whole Pitocin thing will start to kick in. So I'm going to have Tomo administer the Pitocin now that the other doctor is out of the way. Hopefully she'll be able to get to us. But I don't know what the hell's going on with the epidural y'all like that's kind of strange <laughs> like that is so weird so here is Jaylene crawling into the bed Tomo feels so bad for us she has this whole freaking tray and she's grabbing this little like Pitocin slash IV bag she's checking for the vein I mean they would never put the tray on your belly or like on you but hey it's okay oh my god no 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 <laughs> What if there was options in the future to like have it fail and then you had to like keep getting poked? That would be freaking nuts. So here's Jaleen just laying here in complete and utter freaking agony with this IV just hanging out of her arm. Worsened contractions. As Pitocin began to kick it, time became fluid, disordered by the pendulum swings of agony and respite. Minutes expanded into approaches, and yet the hours compressed into fleeting seconds. The contractions, each building upon the last, became relentless, became a relentless march towards an elusive finish line. Jaylene yearned for relief for the moment when the waves of pain would finally recede, leaving behind the gift of her baby in their wake. I'm done. Why is this taking so Long. Jaylene knew it would be painful, but this? She didn't sign up for this. The contractions are intense, dabbing pains that's making her feel irritated. She can't help but to snap at everything and everyone around her. Anything to distract herself from the pain. Just get this baby out already. So I did notice that there's like this little timer over here. I don't know what happens once the timer runs out, so I'm just going to kind of see if I can speed this process along. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect with the Pitocin, but it just seems like it's kind of a slow burn and she's just going through the motions and hopefully at the end of this, it will speed up her labor and she'll be able to get this baby out. I love how Jaylene's moodlet tray is a literal freaking shit show right now. She has every negative buff underneath the sun and that is why I love this mod because it is so freaking realistic. Like nobody's happy while they go through labor and that definitely rings true for Jaylene because she is feeling super uncomfortable. So I just had the doctor come back in and check our dilation. As you guys can see, we are fully dilated. Before the Pitocin, we were only two centimeters dilated. So 
at least that worked. And now we can ask Akeem to assist us through the birthing process. I did select a natural birth for Jaylene since that is what she did with Abel. It was all natural, but I think there is a slight little chance that you could have a uterine rupture and therefore um, you would, where are you going? Where are you going? I thought I would have a natural birth on the bed. Like what is, what is going on? I can't actually like give birth in the bed. Where is she going? Don't tell me she's going on this freaking. Oh, she's going over here. Interesting. I thought you would give birth on the bed, not this thing. This is a little weird. Oh, wait, it turns into a birthing table. See, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, there is a small chance that you could have a uterine rupture, I think, with the Pitocin. And if that happens, you immediately have to get a cesarean. I'm not trying to show you guys everything that is happening on the other side of this table. But believe me when I say you can see it all. So congratulations. Shailene just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call her? Finally, because home girl's exhausted and she really 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 wants to eat a burger right now i think i really like the name journey because this absolutely was a freaking journey and our man's last name is timmons no they aren't married but it is what it is so we're gonna go with journey timmons i love that name i think it's super duper beautiful and then after this a little journey should be placed on our stomach hold on a second oh my god she's like flying out there and there she is so beautiful <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at little baby journey. I love that. This is so sweet. Here's a much better look at our little journey. She is so beautiful and I think she looks a lot like her father actually. That's pretty crazy and I love how the bassinet was placed right here. I don't know if that was intentional or it was here like the whole time, but I just, I love how it's actually in our room. So the items that we received from the hospital were journeys, a baby print. I love that. So here are like her little hands and then we also got a birth certificate so the cool thing about this birth certificate is that it's actually more customized meaning you get to learn a little bit more about your newborn than you would have been able to previously and how you would see this information is by selecting edit birth certificate there you can put in the baby's name and then this is where you'll find the birth details so journey was 22 and a half inches long and nine pounds no wonder it took Jaylene so long to push her out she was a big baby I'm sad that I wasn't able to show you guys this earlier into the overview but now that Jaylene has given birth she's lactating and with this mod you can actually nurse and wean your toddlers which is pretty realistic for some so how we're able to do this is we just simply will click on the toddler in this case it's our son Abel there we will go to more options and select toddler care and from here we're able to nurse and you guys again it is super duper realistic I haven't actually seen this in action so I'm kind of curious how the hell she's gonna nurse this big ass kid but we'll have to see because you know mamas they always figure it out let me try one more time i don't know if he's hungry enough he may not be so i might have to he's cheat a couple okay. things but oh yeah That's he's definitely yeah. oh he wants his tt oh i love it oh this makes my heart so happy seriously i can't even put into words how absolutely beautiful that animation is i had to play it one more time because i just kind of got lost in the moment and it definitely made me tear up a little bit and the main reason why it made me so sad is because with isaac my latest baby i actually had to stop at breastfeeding at six months because I was getting like mastitis and infections like weekly. I'm talking like full-fledged flu symptoms. It was awful and I just to be able to have my sims be able to share that moment is just it's it's beautiful and I'm so floored by Panda Sam's ability to pull and invoke emotion like that. It's just I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. So that to me is truly beautiful. I know some people don't care about that kind of stuff and that's fine like you know teach them. We all play our game differently but for me that right there that's gold that's amazing so once your toddler has at least breastfed once then you can start entering the era of weaning so again you would go underneath toddler care and you could get, nurse some more if you'd like or you can start weaning this part kind of makes me sad but we're gonna do it because we have to see what this process is like Abel is growing up fast perhaps it's time to start considering the weaning process which weaning method do you want to go with gradual weaning the gradual weaning process for toddlers involves gradually reducing their dependency on breastfeeding. You would still breastfeed your toddler, but for a short amount of time when they ask, but you will no longer offer it if they don't. Eventually, your child will lose interest for breastfeeding as they transition into solid foods. 
quit cold turkey. The quit cold turkey method for weaning a child involves abruptly stopping breastfeeding without any gradual reduction in feedings. This approach is typically chosen when there is a specific reason for discontinuing breastfeeding, such as health concerns or personal circumstances. For lactating parents, sudden weaning can lead to engorgement and discomfort if the child is old enough to understand. The parent or caregiver can explain the decision to stop breastfeeding. And remember what Panda Sam has said in the mod notes, that toddlers can actually react to this decision. Some will be very angry over it and some really won't care at all. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to select quit cold turkey just because I want to see how Abel reacts. And just as I expected, this is unfair. Baby mad. I love how Jaylene went to hug him and comfort him. Jaylene has decided today's the day to stop breastfeeding. She should try explaining to Abel why it's time for weaning and hope he'll understand. He's feeling so bad right now. What should Jaylene say about telling Abel the reason why he can't have breast milk anymore? Booby went to a new home to help the other kids. Oh yeah, that won't go over well. You don't need the milk anymore. You're a big boy. Booby got a boo-boo and is broken now. That's probably what I would say. Booby got a boo-boo. I'm really scared to press play because I'm not really sure if Abel's about to stomp on Jaylene's toes or just have a full-fledged freaking BF, but we are about to find out. No, he is not having it. I don't even think he liked this excuse. He doesn't care about Booby having a boo-boo. Poor Abel has a boo-boo. His heart hurts. I hate this. This isn't fair. I don't want to be a big boy anymore. It's finally time. Jaylene wonders if her child is truly ready for weaning and if their transition to solid foods will be smooth. She could only hope her little one is well prepared and comfortable with this significant change. I must say I feel pretty damn bad about weaning Abel, but I love how Jaylene keeps like hugging him and providing comfort and reassurement and all of the things. She is seriously such a good mama. But that, my friends, is a quick little sneak peek into the most recent update for the Realistic Birth Mod by Panda Sama. And really quickly, just to reiterate, this update will be available to the public on September 17th. With that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.